in the Express and Echo, uh, page 17, there's news uh, about uh, a bid to be a city of, city of cal- culture. This is Exeter and Torbay councils. And um, I think it's to do with the fact that you, you don't have to be a city, strictly speaking, to be a city of culture. You can be a, a region or a combination of cities. And it also says... Um, the bid will look to showcase closely connected coastal and city destinations, creating a cultural corridor between the places, while also providing the opportunity to uh, for other towns between Exeter and Torbay to play a major role in a focused programme of events. The, the other thing that I've noticed, um, there's a thing called the, the Metaverse, which the Serpentine Art Galleries is... is um, promoting or, or working with um, that was on um, the digital planet I, I didn't fully understand it I heard it in the middle of the night on the world service and I I, I sort of have that in the background and go back to sleep is what really the reality of what happens but I'm trying to find out more about the metaverse I think it's the digital bits that are in memory somewhere or exist alongside something else so this this cultural corridor between Torbay and Exeter, I'm pretty sure it's going to go past Seelhain. And um, we're thinking about four years' time. We don't know what, what, uh, what will happen. There's a lot of building going on, but I think... For new, for new listeners, um, Dame Hannes uh, was at Seelhain for a while and um, Access All Aerials, the radio show... J- JD should be here soon, I think. I'm going to say all this again when he's when he's here, probably, uh, but I, in shorter form. Um, there was a, there was a lot went on at Seelhain, and um, it's a brilliant site. Uh, it was an agricultural college. Just thinking about the building, I know there's a lot of building going on around that, um, better roads. The, the access was terrible, especially from Exeter, by the way. Um, you could get there from Plymouth quite easily, but... Um, anyway, that's another thing. What was I? Really, what I'm, what the main thing I'm trying to say is, it's a brilliant um, building site, the central bit of it, and I'm sure they won't do away with with all of that. And um, there was a, a very good um, f- uh, beer and music festival, which uh, obviously there's going to be better things than that in the city of culture, or more cultural things maybe, but. Um, there's art galleries and all kinds of other things there as well, but I, I think in terms of um, in terms of this this show, we we really did like the um, the music and beer festivals. We did, we we worked with uh, Access All Aerials on a sort of radio feed you know, while the acts were getting ready and that that sort of thing. So we've got uh, probably quite a lot of digital stuff and other people have got even more I would think I would think access all aerials have got a, a lot of material or other things could be recreated so um, just just keep keep in mind seal Hain as a as a as a potential site um, the, the track I've got lined up uh, is called five four five five four four six was my number this is from the loose cannons it's uploaded by the Loose Cannons to YouTube, so I'm sure this is legit. And uh, this was recorded, I think, to 2012 at, at Seal Hain. <laughs> Chris, to sum up then, um, City of Culture, there's a bid in from Torbay and Exeter. And they are also promoting a cultural corridor between the two places. Okay. And I've worked out the Co- cent- the centre of this corridor is Seal Hain. Could be a long corridor. It's quite a long corridor. I, I've also looked at a map comparing this with, say, Edinburgh or Glasgow or some, you know, yeah. a, a, another or Manchester, another city of culture. And in terms of miles, it's quite a lot of miles between Torbay and Exeter. But what I thought was, given the metaverse which is the digital bits hanging around us all, uh, we've got quite a lot of that in existence. 
because uh, Seal Hain, JD, you 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 know a little bit about what's happening in in the Seal Hain area. Not right now, no. Oh, you don't you don't you no longer do. No, it's been it's been sold to somebody in London. That's all I know. Uh, and I, not much has come out of it. There's no signs on the road. I haven't been past there for uh, many years now. Oh. I don't live in that area. Okay. No. So I don't don't really know. So we ought to look. We can look it up, I suppose. We we do a bit of research. Yeah. Well, we got we got we mm. th- that could be. I'm. I think we. I think we should because those central buildings, like the qu- the quadrangle, the lawn, <laughs> just behave. So. <coughs> Stop f- stealing each other's phones. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, everybody. I've just had to spray him with the disinfectant. No, he can steal mine. Oh, oh, right, right. oh, I got a new phone. Anyway, um, I carry on. Sorry. It's look, older look, than look, the, bu- the buildings they've got in the middle, like the the quadrangle, is is very academical looking, isn't it? It's very nice yeah. space. Well, it's it got a lawn. A co- it was a college. Yeah, it was a college. And yes. it used to have the police as well. Yeah, the police have used it as a college. It was an agriculture college. Yes, because I, I, I used to live down the road and I used to get all these police cars going past. So, yes, it's been used wide way, but mostly to do with agriculture. And through the war, it was uh, a hospital. Right. So it's been quite a number of things. So I don't know what you know, this, so, this company's doing with it. So it, just thinking about four years' time... Yeah. That as a space, a performance space. I yes. mean, I've said it could be used for a beer festival with music, but whether that's the city of culture style, uh, I don't know. Maybe it would have to be something slightly different. Yes, it would have to be something completely different. Oh, completely different. Yes, which hasn't happened before. Oh. Yes. So oh. that will be in the, uh, the the punters in, shall we say? Okay. Because okay. it's quite a long way to go from the main road up to it. It's a nice drive. But it's uh, yeah. But there's various back routes, aren't there? Which probably is oh yes, there are back routes. If you can, if you if you know how to use a four by four, I can <laughs> tell you them all. Okay. I've done them all. Okay. <laughs> well, that sounds very interesting. But then, then there's uh, I've heard rumours they're going to change the roads around that area. They are yes. There's new roads being put in. What they wanted to try to do is to get from the top end of Newton Abbott to the main road without going through Newton Abbott. Oh yes, because there's a lot of traffic in in Newton Abbott as itself. Oh, it's got so, a lot of traffic in Newton Abbott. There's always this. <laughs> but if there's going to be a cultural corridor between Torbay and Exeter, Newton Abbott's going to be completely well, uh, we'll done over off, for we'll traffic. Come off the Torbay Road, we'll be fine. Oh, oh. no problem. Oh. No You've problem. Got some no sort problem. Of bypass. You can get from A to B in seconds. Then. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that sounds all right. Yeah. Okay, so that so the traffic's no problem. No. And it needs to be something completely different. Yes. So the the beer and music festival, we've blown that out, really. It's, that's not... Well, it depends. It's got a lot of um, uh, living place places up there, so, you know, you can go and live up there. But I just don't know what the route's going to go now, because they've done, they've done everything at that place, you know, from police, as I said, to to um, the, is in the war years as well. So I don't know what they're going to do with this, and I hope it's going to be something nice. Oh, he's... he's, he's yes, he's got... Yeah, you may speak, Mr Norton. <laughs> oh, he's got okay. his hand up. <laughs> it is your show, after all. <laughs> OK. My brother was going to go to college at Silhane, Many years ago. Is that the ag- was agricultural one or the? No, the yeah, he was yeah. doing hospitality at oh, the right. time. Right. Oh yeah, it was Plymouth. I think it was part of Plymouth. Yeah, Plymouth, you, Plymouth, Plymouth University was part of. If you would like to Google it, so you can look at what it was during the war years, and it was actually a fantastic place, and what they cured. So it's got a long history it's a, yeah, of it's goodness. A, yeah, it's a very good site. Yeah. 